and you only need one. We're not doing multiples. Good. Okay, so standing on your mat. So we always do our warm-up standing, and I really want to do that today to really stretch ourselves out a bit more. So taking the left arm up, circle it all the way around to the back. So we slowly loosen up the shoulder. Good. So draw in the tummy. Take a big breath in through the nose. And breathe out through the mouth. Change arms. That's it. Circle it back nice and slowly. And if the upper body wants to go behind as well, that's absolutely fine. And again, good. Two more. Bring the arms up to the front and open. Squeeze the shoulder blades to the front and down. Up to the front, open. Squeeze and then down. And up, open. Squeeze those shoulders at the back and down. Fabulous. One more. Squeeze and down. Okay, bring the arms all the way up to the top and just reach side to side. Feel that stretch down by the ribs. Take the arms out by the sides. Just bend the knees for me. So we're not going to squat, we're just having a knee bend. Knee bend. So remember sitting back on the heels a bit more so that you have that weight distributed correctly through your feet. So we're not going down too low, keeping the chest up and the head up. Good, and as we bend, we're going to lift up the leg and place. Just a small bend and then extend that leg out. Good. Down, up. There we go. So this is just preparing our body for the work we're going to do. So nothing too high. Just doing a warm up. Last one. Good. So we're going to tap to the front. In. To the front. In. So pop the hands on the hips. In. Just tap to the front. One more. Then we tap out to the side. To the side. Tap. In. Tap. In. So we're not fully waiting on the leg that we're moving. This is our weighted leg. Take it back. So we're going to tap to the front, to the side, to the back. And centre, good. Front, side, back and centre. Really pull this tummy in, because that's where your centre of gravity is there. And that's where the control's coming from. Switch the leg, so we just tap to the front and the back. So now our weight is on our other foot. Take it to the side. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Take it back. Out we go. Bend the knee, bring it in. Good. Trying to keep that body still, that upper body still, so you really feel it in that glue as you extend back. Two more, then we'll tap front, side and back. Now to the front. Front, side, take it back, centre. 
Okay, can you now feel that that leg is really working to hold your body in place? And again, don't stand on it too long. If you start to get cramped, just move around and stretch it out. Last one. Bring the legs to centre, so pedal the ankles nice and slowly. That's it, so come up onto the toes, really spread those toes out so we get some mobility in those toe joints. And now start to sit back a bit lower. Nice. Three, two, and one. Good, come up, take the arms out to the side. Rotate to your left. And then centre, rotate to the right. And towards the left. towards the right. Good, just relax the arms and twist them around. Turn the upper body, make sure you have soft bent knees. Open the feet wider and I want you to really sway around from side to side. That's good. There we go, so we're loosening up the upper back. Good, bring the arms to the top. Let's lean to the left. And up we come. Lean to the right. Superb. Up. Bring the arms down to the sides, drop that chin to the chest. Let's just get a stretch on that neck. Roll the shoulders forwards and then just roll down really slowly. Pull that belly button towards the back. Only come down as far as your knees with your hands and then come up. Bring the arms up to the top, extend the back, lean back. Arms to the side, down we go. Roll it down, allow the arms to drop, roll up. Good, and again, roll it down, roll the shoulders. Let me come and see how you're doing. Fab. Good. And then roll it up. Bring the arms up, extend that back. Good, take the arms out to the side. So let's just tap over and tap. Nice and slowly, no race. Two and one. Bring the hands to the hips. Good, place the hands on the pelvic bone. So tilt the pelvis forwards and tilt it back. Tilt that forwards and tilt it back. Good. Standing up, now hip lift. That's it, try and keep this upper body still so we can really get some mobility through the pelvic bone. Now circle all the way around. And the other way. And back. And again. Good, we're gonna roll down again, but this time we're gonna come all the way down as far as we possibly can. 
just hold it, hold the forearm, sway from left to right. Keep the head dropped if you can. And roll up. Circle those arms up and backwards for two. Roll the shoulders back and down. Good, take the one arm up, place behind your head. Take the other arm and try and touch your fingers. And now release, change over. And now release. Good, bend the elbows here at 90 degrees. Good, and just pulse to the front and open. Pulse and open. So let's just get that chest expander going. And we're still loosening up the shoulder blades. So keeping the forearms level with your shoulders. Four. Thank you. 